Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is day 5 of Book of Read and we are going to read Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Yes, Mary Shelley. I don't know why I hesitate it. <laughs> but yeah, so this one we're going to read. I have never read Frankenstein. I keep hearing about it. I do know what the story is about. But I actually never read it. So, I think it'll be exciting. I think it'll be perfect for Halloween. And um, yeah, so it should be, and it looks short. I honestly thought it would be long. Like for some reason, when it comes to classics, I honestly thought the books would be longer. But whatever. Um, but yeah, so let's get to it and I will probably end up liking it. So, let's go. That was like the most relaxing bath I ever had in a while. I should really do that more often. And look, I'm all sparkly. And if we can tell. Oh. <laughs> I'm all sparkly. Ta da! But, anyways, I barely read anything. Because your girl was sleeping in that bathtub. Oh my god. So I used to have bat bath bomb and my gosh do I have to clean the bathtub after that because because of like the the excess I guess it kind of got stuck in the bathtub and I'm like okay I have to clean this uh, and I was able to stain forever but it was pretty the purple it was pretty the purple is it was pretty so basically what this I don't know what you call it like this um bat bath bomb they have lemon, mandarin, and rosemary, and they're both used for cleansing and have vitamin rich, shine enhancing fragrance, and aromatic and invigorating. So it's supposed to clean it, your know, aura and all that stuff. So I also felt like I was cleansed, like dude, I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> Is what basically happened, even though I didn't feel asleep. So honestly, that was quite lovely. So, I really should not do more of it and maybe more water and then it will completely cover up but that's okay. But um, yeah, that was lovely. <laughs> you can tell I was kind of sleeping. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm probably going to read more. I really thought it was 9 for some reason but it's actually 8.14. Don't know what happened there but the time always brings me long. So yeah, that's the game plan. I will continue to read and then we will see from there. about to see Dracula. <laughs> I finished Frankenstein. I don't really know how to feel about it. Um, I might give it 3.5 4 stars. I think the writing is beautiful. I did like the way the plot is going. I have some got my notes. But um, honestly, Dr. Frankenstein can be buried in the depths of hell and be burned by the fires of Hades. 
I think that's a side I should go to bed. And so is midnight. <laughs> Surprise. Another late night read. But basically, um, honestly, it's like a, like the whole thing is just like a monster. It's like a product, like the monster is just like a product of society that refuses to accept someone different, which is, I feel like it's really much true today. If you're different, people might not look at you in the same way. I, that's what I feel like, as like, in today's society. Um, honestly, a victim was probably also the real monster for not realizing that he had a duty to parent and care for his creation, or as well as like to point out our obsession with perfection and a willingness to disagree with people who don't meet the standards. I think that's pretty real, especially in like the beauty um, industry where people is, like if you're not pretty enough, you're not going to be accepted, so on and so forth. So those are like the moral of the story, but um, I think it's sad. I used to like how Frankenstein just named him Creature. <laughs> Like, that was all that he was ever known in the book. It was just called Creature. So I did not like Frankenstein. I think he kind of ruined the book for me. I just could not stand him. That was probably the point, but I just couldn't stand him. Um, also, um, there were also some other things that, like, is non-human, like, or, or it's like, they be dead, passes, like, among the children. The things that are like passes along the trauma that reacts negatively and it's been a tough thing with this massive monster that moves fast and kills hard. And then there's like, this is also a tale of catastrophic catastrophe for, where it forces us to, to confront the, like the really bad side of humanity while grappling with life and death while questioning what is truly monstrous. Also, I think it's also really sad for the creature. It did feel really like a lot of sadness for the creature because he's starting to want to like have truly to feel isolated from the outside while looking at like the humanity side of things, if that makes sense. So, you know, just to belong somewhere to love, to be alive, it's all quite sad from the creature's perspective, he, like, he's just trying to see where he belongs and to see if he can love and all that, so I was really sad for the creature, but and, yeah, I still not stand by what I said I just dropped it <laughs> I, yeah, I still stand by what I said with Frankenstein he can be buried in depths of hell and be burned by the fire of Hades <laughs> um, yeah, so that is that, um but yeah, I did like the atmosphere and so on and so forth. I didn't quite like how there were too many letters in the book. That kind of slowed down the pace for the book, I feel like. But um, yeah, honestly, Mary writing that book in 19, she's talented. So there were also quite a few words that were repetitive, like quitted. That seemed to me showing up quite a lot, but that's okay. So, kudos for Manny, honestly, like, this was something else, so. And of course, we had the infamous quote, Beware for I am fearless, and therefore powerful. <laughs> I love that so much, I was just kidding. <laughs> like, you look, where's that quote, where's that quote? So, I was just happy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so those are my thoughts, I think the book was okay. I don't know if the give out still. Maybe like 3.5 to 4 stars, I guess, so. I think I'm gonna go to bed, and yeah, that'll be it. <laughs> so yeah, um, this will be it for my day 5 book of read. Tomorrow we're going to day 6, which is for something I can't remember, but that's okay. Um, But yeah, so otherwise if you guys, I will see you guys tomorrow for day 6. Adios.